All right, here's how you complete the Rights and Freedoms data collection chart. You're going to open up a template. Mine is of Europe. Yours is going to have Asian countries on the side here, but it works exactly the same way. So you've got a chart here with country names, and then you have a column for political rights and a column for civil liberties. And then you have this box here. It says no data because there's no data in here yet. So you're also going to use your freedom map. And the way this map works, it's pretty easy. You hover over countries and you get a total score on the country and you also get um, well the country name so you can tell which country is which. So I'm going to go look here and you need to find Ireland and you need to find their political and their political rights and their civil liberties. So I come over here. Ireland is right here. If I click it, I get a little box and it divides these up. So it's 39 and 58. So I come over here and I go 39, 58. And it makes this enormous thing because Ireland is the only one here. So it basically thinks it's the only thing I'm putting on the chart. But I'm not. I'm going to also go find Spain. So Spain's over here. Click on Spain. 37.53. So I'll put 37. Oops, 53. Grab France. France is right here. They are 38.51. So 38, 51. Germany, and Germany is right, oops, right here, and Germany is going to be 39 and 55, 39 and 55, and notice as I do these, these reorder themselves from the, the average, overall average best to the, the, to the worst or to the least, so when I go through these countries and you go through your countries, it's going to reorder and it's going to fill them in, and then it gives you a in the end, a table that you can use to assess which countries have more or less freedoms than other countries. So simple enough data collection, and this will help you answer the questions on the little mini quiz that you have at the end. So good luck.